Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get the new unique spacesuit from the DLC Shadow Space. And what makes it unique is the bronze color as well as the green light that it has around the spacesuit. It makes it look pretty good, especially when you are in a dark environment, you can really see all the shine. And there are three different ways that you can go by about getting this. So I'm going to give you all the options and you know, you can choose whatever method you prefer of getting this. So first we're going to start with actually doing the quest, which is called Legacy of the Fang. You trigger the quest by going to this location here. The location is called Tomb of the Fang, but obviously if it's your first time you haven't been there, it's not going to show up. But this is a unique location, so it is going to be here in this area of the map for everyone. It is to the west of Dasra, so you have Dasra here in this area. You could drive out with your Rev 8, go all the way south from this gate, and then just go all the way to the uh, west side of the city. So when I zoom in, it kind of looks like this. Once you get in there, give the med pack to the angel NPC and that will start the quest. And as you progress, you're tasked to recover all those stolen heirlooms from the spacers. This part is pretty straightforward. My only tip that I have for you so that you don't have to look around too much for the part is once you get to the bottom level, the maintenance level, and you get to the elevator, you want to go to the control level. That is the last area where you're going to get the final piece of the armor set. After you get all the items, you're going to go back to the NPC who is now back at Dasra. At this point, my suggestion is that you make Andresia as your companion if you have her. In the conversation with the NPC and her father, you have to convince the father to fix all those items. And this is an important part that has to happen. Otherwise, you will not be able to get all the spacesuit or the weapon. So when you have Andresia at that stage of the dialogue, you can just pick her response because she will just do the convincing for you. But if you do not have Andresia, then you will have to do the little persuasion game to get the father to agree to fix all that stuff. So if you're going that route, then I will also suggest save the game before you get there. In case you don't make it, you can do it again. Once all that's done, the quest itself is actually complete, but you do not get the armor and all that stuff as a reward. You have to now take it from this NPC. And the way you do this is first, you're going to go to Venus and await 24 hours because time has to pass to trigger the next event. Once that has passed, and this is the part that it kind of becomes a little bit tedious because now you have to find a Varun camp. And that took me a long time. I couldn't find any Varun camp near where my Dasra city is. I couldn't find anything nearby. So I ended up having just to land somewhere else in a different area outside of Dasra. And once you're in those areas, you're going to look for something that looks like this. That is a Varun camp. So as I zoom in, you're going to look for something uh, that is similar to that. Once you find one of those camps, you may also want to save the game just in case the character does not spawn for you. Uh, I was pretty lucky on this one. On the first camp I found, she actually spawned and you're basically going to encounter this same lady again. And this NPC is usually going to just be looking around. So now you're going to find her and she will be wearing the actual suit or repair and that unique weapon. So this could take you a couple of tries. And so here is where you kind of have to make a choice. You can try to steal the items, pickpocket the items from her, but you will not be able to pickpocket the entire set. You will see that the spacesuit and the rifle is 0% chance of pickpocketing. So you will not be able to get it. Unfortunately, if you want to get the entire suit, you're going to have to actually kill this NPC and I just loot all of these from their corpse. 
And if you're planning to do that, uh, you may want to keep your companion in the ship so they don't get angry. Now, the funny thing is, once you kill this NPC here, uh, when you go to their home, they're still going to be there. So that is method number one. Now, method number two, it involves using the console command. Using that will disable achievements. However, the new DLC didn't bring any new achievements, as far as I can tell. So this method is for those who kind of still want to obtain the suits, but don't want to go and kill this NPC. Because, you know, you just want to be a good guy. So I will put all the commands below. And I, that's what I did. I ended up just spawning all these items. Now, using these commands, you for some reason, you cannot spawn the fan's rifle, the one with the skin. Uh, I don't know what the code is. The only code that shows up is the same code for the long fan, even though the name says fangs rifle but it spawns a regular one so that is something that i guess i don't know maybe somebody can find out at some point but using method number two of just spawning items individually you cannot get the rifle you can only get the spacesuit and they spawn as rare not as legendaries but i also use console command to make them into legendary so these are the ones the perks that i ended up adding to my entire set and I'm not going to go over how to do that because I have another video that goes in depth into how you can add legendary mods. So I'll link that video in the description. So that is option number two. Option number three, which I think is actually a pretty good one, is you can actually spawn this NPC. Like uh, here's the call. I'm going to leave all this in the description but you can spawn basically a copy of her wearing the entire suit uh, like I did here. And basically you kill the copy. So that way you still have the original NPC still wandering around. You kill this copy and you can look her body and I grab the entire suit and the weapon as well. The only thing is don't spawn this NPC in the same place that the original is or near your companion because once you shoot her, the other one will become aggro and they're going to attack you as well and you're going to have to end up killing them both. So just go somewhere else, leave your companion in the, in the ship, spawn her, you know, kill her in isolation and then just loot her weapon. <laughs> I know, I know, it just sounds crazy, so psycho, but yeah, um, yeah, just spawn her in isolation, <laughs> kill her, loot her shit, and then you can go back, go like if nothing happened. So, all right, those are the three methods that you have to obtain this new unique spacesuit that we call in the DLC Shutter Space. And if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Oh, and uh, before I go, just completely random, I have a coupon for $100 off to buy a GoPro Hero 13 at GoPro.com. And I'm going to put it on the screen uh, if anybody wants it. So you can get $100 off. So it is on the screen. So yeah, just for anybody who's looking to get a GoPro, there you have it. So all right, that is it. Uh, thank you all for watching. Enjoy the game. Have fun. And I'll see you all in the next video.